Uwa nauliza wanadamu, kwa nini na struggle sana kutafuta hela za matatizo na msi, msifanya urafiki na Bwana awe pushe na hayo matatizo sio lazima. Uwa ninaambia wanadamu ya kwamba matatizo mengine hayaji kama majaribu. Kuna matatizo yanakuja kama adhabu. Kwa sababu pesa imewekwa itumike. Pesa imewekwa hata be, hata kwenye benki haiweki kwa sababu isitumike na wewe izalishwe. Pesa imewekwa kwa matumizi na kwa kishia. Usipoitumia pesa kwa Mungu, Mungu anayo njia ambayo ataitoa pesa kwako. Kwa njia ya magonjo, kwa njia ya madeni, kwa njia ya mikasa mbalimbali, mbali. pesa itakutoka tu. Utanunua dawa, kuna watu leo ambao haiwezi kuisha wiki ajanywa dawa. Kuna watu leo ambao lazima kuna ugonjwa ukipona au utakuja mwingine. Ni lazima spendi pesa kwa sababu haipeleki mahali sahihi. Wakati maandiko yanasema jitoleeni azina zenu. Azina zenu sitoeni mbinguni mahali ambapo hakuna nondo wala kutu. Wala kuna mwizi wala wanyanganyi. Wala waendi huko na kuiba. Pia sema jiwekeni azina zenu huko ambako Mungu ndiye mlinzi wa hiyo azina. Mungu ndiyo mtawala wa ile azina. Mungu ndiyo financial controller wa ile azina. Listen, mambo mengi mnayopitia si kwa sababu Mungu anakuletea tumbo uh, mitiani. Kumbuka nishao kufundisha somo la mitiani wiki iliyopita. Mambo mengine sio mitiani, unaadhibiwa kwa sababu Mungu ameitoa pesa itumike hasa katika ufalume wake, lakini wengi mali zenu hazitumiki kwa Bwana. Tafuta watu wana complain juu ya matoleo kanisani. Afu fuatilia maisha yao nyuma, atakuta yuko walevi wakubwa kwenye baa, hajawahi kwenda ku complain kwa mwenye baa. Ila ata complain kwa scofu. Ata complain kwa mchungaji. Tafuta watu wengi sana ambao wanalamika hizi pesa, lakini utakuta yuko na pesa nyingi ela nyingi kwa ganga kenyeji. Hakuna mgao wa kenyeji leo unaweza kumpelekea hela ndogo. Na ukiona yupo ujue ni fake huyu anatafuta tu maisha. Lakini mganga wa kenyeji wa kweli anapenda sadaka nzito. Mganga wa kenyeji wa kweli anapenda matoleo mazito sana. Maandiko yanasema kitabu kile cha Malaki, basi kamfanyie liwali wako. Liwali ni mwakilishi au kiongozi wa wa, wa, wa jamii. Bia sema kama liwali akikubali, basi mletee bwana. Umesha kuangalia mkutano wa siasa, umesha kuangalia warsha za kisiasa za kiserikali, umesha kusikia matoleo anayotoa. Usha kuangalia hadi wanazo zitoa Njio kansani Contrary Kansani tukuta mtu anakuambia sina Sije kuona kwenye walisha siyasa Raisa na mnyanyua mtu anasema sina pesa Sije yona Sije kuona wazia na mnyanyua mtu anasema tatua ngapi anasema sina pesa Ila kansani watatua excuse sina pesa The same person yange ya nyanyulua na wazidi Angesema nina pesa Watu wengi ya mjawa serious kwa mungu Atuja jitoa kwa malizetu Atuja jitoa kwa tulio na ayo Arujajitoa, tuna sababu nyingi Let me tell you, sababu yako itakubalika kwenye jamii Kwa sababu jamii na sympathize na wewe Inajaribu kuhensha uruma Lakini according to the Bible Hakuna mtu anatakia kutoa excuse ya kuamba sana chakutoa Unless uwe una, uko uchi na unanguo Lakini kwa sababu meva Lazima umtole mungu Na ndio mana mungu wakaka sheria usiende nyumbani mwabwana Mikoro wa mitopu Isio sheria jamii ni sheria bibiria Kwa sababu bibiria naelewa kuamba unakitu chakutoa Wapo watu ambao wanatoa hadi mali zao. Wapo watu wanatoa kila kitu. Yesu wale kumwambia mtu mmoja nataka kunifuata. Yes, uza vyote ulivyonavyo. So Yesu anataka mtu auze hata vyote alivyonavyo kisha amfuate. Vyote. Nasema wape maskini kisha unifuate. And then wewe uko hapa unaniambia siwezi kutoa chochote. Muda wako unaotoa kwa Mungu sio quality time. Unakuja kanisani umechelewa. Hata muda hujampa wote mzuri. Tuje katika mwili wako. Kuna vitu uwezi kufanya hapa. Hapa leo nikisema wasikia mtu alale chini hapa itakuwa ni debate mitaani. Kisho ndio tutakuwa story mtaani anatulazaje chini kwani tulale chini Tuma, kwa, kwa, kwa budu Mungu sana Mungu anaona moyo leo hapa amekuwa na kisingizio cha Mungu anaona moyo wangu hatutaki kufanya matendo mengine Mungu anaona moyo wangu listen wakati Yesu anakuja duniani Biblia inasema akapiga magoti na kuomba yeye kama Yesu anapiga magoti who are you wewe ni nani ante leo nikisema tupige magoti uombe hapa i want to assure you kuna watu watapiga magoti ni bosi tayari. Na ndio maana kuna watu wengine wamezi kupona. Ndio maana kuna watu wengine wamezi kubarikiwa sababu unajaribu kumwesha Mungu you are okay tayari. Na Yesu anasema hivi, mimi sikuja kutafuta wote ambao ni wazima, mimi kuja kutafuta wagonjwa ili nipate kuatibu. Sasa kama uwezo kupiga magoti wewe ni bosi, you don't need anything to Jesus then. Kwa sababu tayari unaonyesha una kila kitu. Kunyenyekea ni ishara kwamba Mungu I need you. Wakati mwingine chumbani kwako lala kwenye sakafu chini. Sio siku zote ulale kitandani. Ukiona kitanda kinakulemea toka wakati mwingine kanisa liko wazi hapa. Fata tu taratibu utamkuta mlinzi hapa. Lala kanisani, pigwa baridi kidogo au pigwa upepo kidogo au ataliwa na mbu for God kwa ajili ya Mungu. Ni lini wewe siku moja utamwambia Mungu hizi ni chapa za nafsi yako. Tume Paulo alipigwa sana kwa ajili ya Yesu. 
mpaka siku moja akasema msinitabishe mwili mwangu nimejaa chupa zake Kristo. Ni lini ulitabika kwa jina Kristo? Ni lini uliliwa jina mbu kwa jina Kristo? Atutoi mili yetu. Kuna jambo limenisikitisha sana. Atutoi mili yetu tunakisingizia kwamba nimetoa moyo wangu. Yes tunajua ulitoa moyo wako siku ile ulipowaokoka ukamkiria sukua bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yako mwili wako vipi unaotoa kwa nani muda wako upi unamtolea nani listen mahali ambapo upiga calculation kama unatumika sehemu zaidi ya Mungu that's so god kama muda wako unatumika zaidi kwa wengine kuliko Mungu huyo mtu awe mkeo huyo mtu awe mmeo huyo mtu awe boyfriend au girlfriend unajua katika kitu ambacho amhitaji mtu umuulize mtu umuuliza nabii kwamba mimi nina Mungu sina Mungu don't even ask that same question don't ask me jipime wewe mwenyewe kwamba moyo wangu na mapenzi sana kwa nani mwingine ni kwa mzazi wake that's so god so if you if you want to worship go and worship your mother kwa sababu that's so god mahali ambapo moyo wako unaenda sana that's so god ndio babi anasema mpende bwana Mungu wako kwa moyo wako wote neno moyo maana love mapenzi yako kwenye moyo mapenzi yanagusa moyo be careful kumweka mtu moyo ni zaidi ya god hii ndio umepelekea. Hii ndio umepelekea. Ushakuona watu ndio ikiharibika, amwabudu Mungu tena. Wewe usabudu Mungu mmeo kama kwaacha. Is that God? Sasa mwingine ongeva sana huja ma gaidi. Yes, let acha niwe gaidi kwa sababu mke wangu aweze kuwa my God. Wanangu aweze kuwa my God. I will love them. Yes, I will love my wife. Yes, not more than God. Wakizingua hapa katikati naweka kushoto tunabaki na Mungu. Yeah. Mungu atabaki kuwa Mungu na kwa nini maisha yako wewe hayaeleweki hadi malaika wakutetei they know for sure god is not your god even the angels know una msimamo moyo wako uko kwa mtu hata hapo kanisani you wish ukakutane na mtu you wish umuone fulani your heart is not for god uko hapa kuchukua vitu vya mtu vya Mungu uchukue miujiza ya Mungu uchukue baraka za Mungu Mungu anakuuliza wewe sio wangu unachukua baraka zangu za wapi ndio maana Yesu akasema chakula hiki sio chakula cha mbwa ni chakula cha watoto Unatafuta chakula cha watoto ukipeleke wapi? Si cha kwako. Unataka muujiza kuponyaji wewe ya kwako? Unataka baraka zoe za kwako? Unataka Mungu akuinue? Be for God then. Are you for God? No. Who is your God? Your boyfriend. Who is your God? Your boss. So jipime. Isu so so kuuliza, "Ah, pastor, hivi mimi ni wa Mungu?" No, tuanzie kwenye moyo wako na amejaa huko. Kuna watu wengine they never dreamt anything. Listen, kuna watu wengine hawajui kumuota Mungu. Aje, hata hapa mmekaa. Hujawahi kumuota Mungu. Si maanisha Mungu hana sura. Hautamuota like anafana fulani. But kuna watu wajawahi kuota hata kusikia sauti au kupata instruction ya Mungu. It's not your God. Let me prove to you, you be a pastor here, be a church elder, be a choir member. You are not for God. How come Mungu hajawahi communicate na wewe? He's not in your heart. Kuna vitu unavitafuta kwake. Usiwe kama sisimizi ambao sisimiza tumeona kwa nyumba ya mtu wanazunguka wanatafuta makombo ya lakini sio watoto mwenye nyumba hajawakaribisha mwenye nyumba hawajui so unaweza unatafuta makombo ya mtu makombo nipate promotion makombo ya, ya miujiza ah ni nipate sijui kitu gani lakini Mungu akujui kama sisimizi moyo wako nani unampenda i don't say hate your wife hate your, your, your husband i'm not teaching you to hate your brother no but kitu kimoja you must not love them more than god Wait. How do I love somebody more than God? Very simple. If ni muda wa ibada and then ninaahirisha ibada because of somebody, that's so God. If nina ratiba ya kufunga but because of someone anataka twende same fulani, naahirisha ibada ya kufunga, that's your God. Ni pale kitu kinapotake place, kinapotake position ya Mungu, that's your God. So you don't ask me you know for sure kwamba your friend is your God. Hata hapa anaweza kutumia message yote. Hello uko wapi? Njoo nataka kukuona. Tutakuona unatoka nje, unaondoka. Yes, asikushangai. That's your God. Na kama mjukuu mnawasikia malaika, ni kwa sababu usiki, wanjakuwa nakuambia, usimuombe Mungu chochote. Is not your God. Namba 2. Mili yenu umetoa wapi? Kuna watu ambao mwili wake masa 24/7 yuko kazini. Ni kazi, ni kazi, ni kazi, ni kazi, ni kazi, ni kazi. That job, that career is your God. Awezi kuomba dakika kumi Awezi kupiga magoti ku worship. That's so God. Namba tatu, time. Angalau spend muda wapi sana? Unacho spend muda sana sana kuliko vingine. Hivi hata kama ni simu yako, that phone is your God. 
chochote chotolea muda sana that's our god mungu ni mungu mwenye wivu hawezi kubali yeye umfananishe na vitu vyako vya ajabu ajabu lakini zaidi mahali ambapo mali zako ziko nyingi usinyiulize unajua mwenyewe that's your god if ume invest sana kwa kitu chochote na unakijua that's your god huwa anafundisha vitu vingine nikiongea hapa utakata tamaa ya maisha ya kiroho utakimbia huwa anasema hivi kuna watu wengine kuota majini kwenye nyumba zenu hataisha kwa sababu what you are thinking is to paint your house what you are thinking ni kuongeza gorofa what you are thinking ubadilisha tv ulete tv kubwa zaidi ya hiyo what but you don't think anything in the church that's our god so mungu hawezi kuleta malaika waingie ndani ile nyumba waje kufanya nini Mungu hawezi kuleta malaika kwa sababu unapotaka kufikiria nyumba yako fikiria kuna nyumba ya Mungu ni lini usha kufikiria carpet ya kanisani ni lini usha kufikiria basi taa za kanisani ni lini basi usha kufikiria tiles kanisani ni lini basi but you are praying pastor nataka uniombe kuna kitu nataka kwenye nyumba yangu you are selfish and that house is a god hao ndio walikuwa tulio nao na if you tell them ah you pastor anatisha watu watu watoe vitu i'm talking the scriptures Listen to me. That's your that's your house. Hata malaika usisingizie malaika. Hawapo. Utaendea kuota ndoto chafu. Ana mama watu mna ndoto chafu, majini mahaba. Kimbizo na wachawi. Ndoto unakula vyakula makaburini. Sasa kama moyo wako uko ndani, juzi tu mweka zulia jeep ya ndani. Juzi mweka pazia mpya ndani. What have you done this house? And this is the house of, and you call this is the house of God. The house of God is looking like a shack and your house looking like a mansion. That's so God. So wapenzi mnajidanga listen. Niwe kufundisha somo nafikiri imenipita kwenye YouTube nikasema watu wengi ni washiriki wa kanisani lakini sio washiriki wa Yesu. Na Mungu wala kujui. Muda wako uko kwa nani? Mali zako ziko kwa nani? Moyo wako uko kwa nani? Especially kuna vitu viwili, moyo na muda. Na kina cha tatu niongeza mali. Moyo hasa moyo. Watu mioyo yako kwa Mungu. Si kumemfikiria Mungu ni when you have a problem. Na siku mmemfikiria Mungu ni akaribia na ibada imefika. That's when you think about God. If we, we see you busy in church, we know you have a problem. Hata tuulizi, we know ha, someone is facing a, a big problem. Imagine uwe na mke, imagine uwe na mpenzi wako ambaye anakuchekea anapotaka kitu chako. Imagine, is there is there love? Let us say the truth. Imagine una mpenzi wako anaanza kukupetpeta au kucheka anapotaka kitu chako. Kama ukiwa mwanaume, tutolee mfano wanaume, ukamgundua mwanamke wa hivyo, utajua anakupenda? What Mungu anawafikiriaje sasa? Huyo ni mwanadamu, wewe ni mwanaume, unaona mke wako ndio ajichekesha, anapita pita hivi, so, e, mnajua anavyofanyaga. Akijua anataka kitu chako. Yaani akata anataka kitu chako utajua ndio ameumbwa. Utajua tu. Na unajua kabisa hapa anataka kupigwa hapa. Hapa napigwa. Hata Mungu anawajua akikuona unajua wanaambia malaika tayari ashashikwa ile de Mungu na malaika wanajua yeye tayari amewahi ibada huyu tayari Mungu anauliza wamemfanyaje eh wamesema juzi wanakaa kikao cha kufufuza wafanyakazi unasikia Mungu ningeshangaa huyu hawai kanisani ningeshangaa listen shika moyo wako afu inamisha kichwa chako afu tamka neno hili kwa nguvu lakini ndani yako mtu yote asisikie je namwabudu Mungu au namwabudu nani Ude sentence. Tamka neno la pili, je, upendo wangu mwingi uko kwa nani? Tamka neno jingine, je, muda wangu mwingi nimempa nani? Je, mali zangu nyingi nimempa nani? Je, mwili wangu, nguvu zangu za mwili wangu zinatumika sana kwa nani? Jibu lolipata, that is your god. Inoka. So Nataka tumwabudu Mungu. Ina mikono miwili juu. Toa mwili wako kwa Yesu Kristo. At the same time. Na, hebu tuwabudu tukiwa tumepiga magoti. Angalau for today. Najua kuna watu wana, wana shida ya magoti, I can understand. Ukiweza kupiga ndo uponyaji wako. Watabaki tu watu wa kamera. Yes. The rest wewe na mimi tutaenda kupiga magoti. Mwabudu Bwana. Angalau toa mwili wako. Angalau angalau mbingu zifly kwamba huu mwili leo umetolewa kwa ajili yetu. Yes. Inua mikono yako juu. Usiona nasubiri kila kitu lazima waambie inua mikono. Worship God now. Shaba hazudia. Karus kaba adaba idia maduz. Jukupra adaba anduzibidia. 
Kara baso koto pradizia Liso koporo do bojia Amen. 
Worship God wherever you are. Worship now. Shikabanos, jibanos, jimene na na sugada, jinere de de ba kira da da do. Ata kamuru kwa mnamda. Basumda bwa na meupata. Mungu na ufrai ya mda wako. Ana ufrai ya vijito. Umejito sana kwa watu. Umejito sana kwa marafiki zako. Umetoa ni miri wako uko. It's time for God now. It's time for Jehovah now. The time for God who created you, God who gave you all us, God who called you by your name. This is time. 
worship somebody. Karabasaka, give your quality time. Give your quality time. Raise up your hands. Worship Jehovah. Worship God. Who lives? Who is? And who will be? Jibereberos, Jinerererado. Raise your voice, raise your voice, raise your voice. Speak something to God. Tell God something. Tell God something. Tell how you adore Him. How you miss Him. He even miss you. You don't even worship. You don't have time to worship God. This is the time when God is happy at heaven. See your son. Karababa kneeling down before you. You become so excited. What more about God? What more about God? See your daughter kneeling before you. You feel good. What more about your God? What more about Jehovah? Sauti ya kaitoshi Malaika wanaimba na sisi wa andafu Yeah Ino nikona kuchu Worship Tiako hiyo haitoshi my dear. Oh. Pa sauti yako kwa Mungu. Hilo liko noko kwa Mungu. Yeah. Oh. One of. Oh. Glory. Worship God Jehovah. Oh. 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 We worship you Jesus. You are worthy of a worship. Parabasata bayanda radosa da da da. Imba vira viombo. Jinsi malaika Oliver chiwo mundani. Masaka tabaha da bahata. Shikere bere de de bere dodos. Shinto do bo do 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 bori da da badas. Kara basoti baradi amanda dos. Shinte bere de da bahanto do do bos. Kendo ro pladiski di abada. Mungu ane tuju kuskia sauti yako individually. Na isuwe po na gusa watu apa. Mm-hmm. 